Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Yahkakadash, double as we unto the apostles and the others are great millstone. To all the accounts worldwide, I want to say Shalom and be unto you. This is the word from the GMS that camp. Just may I take a qualification three spirits and the most I have, Basham, Yahushai. And this is my daily edification, you know. It's entitled Discipline Your Body Through Fasting. Yeah, so I just want to go through some quick scriptures uh, to talk about the importance of fasting and the importance of building your spirit in fasting. You know, you know, hunger and thirst without fasting, and in hunger and thirst, and you have an ultimate reason why you're doing that, and it's for righteousness' sake overall. And because we live in a time. If you look at how are the days which are fast approaching, you see a, this is this is the end. This is the sign of the time here. Hey, hey, the doors are ready to crack. Them skies ready to burst open, and you are shy coming to deliver his people. Who are his people? The Negroes, Latinos, and Native. You know we in bondage here in slavery, still under the hands of Esau, the so-called white man. Who is it oppressing us daily? Hey, look at the whole world, the whole world in lockdown. Just now, hey, just a couple of days, just yesterday, a brother posts up in our local community, Trinidad. It had locusts by the thousands in south. Post up that video. Hey, and that was plagues that Egypt has pest. And these locusts and them they're gonna eat our crops. And for 2021, if this continue, hey, it's gonna be a farming and hey, farming our food. Because right now we are farming the world going on as well, because we can't go out. But right now, yeah, we are already on the highways and byways, but just now we won't be out there again. We have a farming as well as the world. So you have to bring yourself to a point of discipline. And starting that discipline process is by fasting and praying. You know, so I want to start over with First Corinthians chapter nine and verse twenty-seven. It said, "But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself be cast away." Hey, and that goes back to prayer and fasting, bringing your body into subjection, you know. Some, some men might prefer to fast off of meat. Some men might prefer to fast with water and food totally from one day, two days, three days, you know. Whatever the Spirit leads you to do, hey, you try it. But don't be slothful. Don't be slothful in this thing. Don't let, don't let food consume you. Don't let food be your downfall while you can't build yourself and strengthen yourself. Hey, even within fasting, you have a lot of spirits will attack you. Because I myself go through that times. Hey, I will get up, set up early in the morning to go out and fast and to prepare to fast to the Lord the have our shame and shy. And then somewhere along the way, hey, you'll be walking and actually see a cherry tree. And find yourself walking towards to pick the cherry to eat it. Not because it's not because you wanted to, you know, but subconsciously, you know, you just literally was going to pick the cherry to eat it. Or you walk and you, you left home and you went down in, in, in probably the city. And you was going to buy something to eat. You find yourself standing up in a line going to buy something to eat. And you catch yourself like, what the fuck? You know, like, what are you doing? And hey, these are things, these are the spirits, boy. These are reasons why you have to acknowledge this fast and understand it, boy. And this is a spiritual battle that we're going through. So, within fasting is a way of strengthening your, your, your body, you know, do that discipline overall. And that goes a long way in the street. It goes a long way for the most of your heart, but shame, shame. You know, so you go to Daniel chapter 10, start at verse 2. 
Daniel chapter 10, verse 2. It said, In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Hey, and to, to fast for three weeks. Hmm. You know, that's a, that's, that is discipline. Just to, just to show how these men were disciplining their body and disciplining their mind and disciplining spiritually. Because these three things are achieved when you fast. You know, you discipline your body because you, you, you hold back food from your body. So your body will get accustomed to hardship. So in the times of, of trouble, you already was fasting. You already got yourself aligned and in tune to not eating. Whereas, hey, all hell break loose. Two days without food and these niggas and them, they're going through. You know? They're going to start a riot. So that you discipline in your, your body, discipline in your mind. Again, your mind is tuned to that hardship. You know? You you might see a, a, a pork. Was that brother say a shrimp? Or a squid? And you you shouldn't be compelled to eat that. Because you, you don't discipline your mind about the situations to come. And then discipline your spirit because with those two out of there, your spirit will be built. Your spirit will be built. So fasting goes a long way. It goes a long way by a Joel chapter 2 and verse 12. Therefore also know, said the Lord, the heart of Hashem Turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Hey, you cry out to the Mosai Habashim Eshai. Hey, you mourn because of all the wickedness being done in this land. And you fast. And you cry out to the Mosai Habashim Eshai. That's a good way. He will hear you. Hopefully. Hey, but what is a man of the Lord the Habashim Eshai? And you call out to the name of the Musa Yahavashem Eshai in spirit and in truth, he will hear you. You just have that faith. The reason why I use that term, hopefully, because I don't know your situation with the Musa Yahavashem Eshai. No man knows, just them and themselves. But once you're on the right track and the right vibration, a word that a brother likes to use, hey, everything should be good. Build your spirit. And this thing ultimately is to do what? Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6. It said, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And you fast and you're doing these things because of why you're hungry and you're thirsting for righteousness. Because this is what this walk is about. This is what this battle is about. A righteousness. Keeping your garments clean. And because we know this place defiled. This place defiled under Esau. Everything defiled. The food defiled. The animals defiled. The land defiled. The air defiled. The water defiled. We defiled. But this is a spiritual walk by Archeum. This is a spiritual walk. And discipline in your body goes a long way. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. <laughs> But he answered and said, yeah, let me get that here. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But the answer said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh, Hashem, and Shai. And we, we had a go to that mindset of Having the constantly be eaten, fasting, discipline your body. Don't let your breakfast be a, that day, that daily bread you're looking for. But 
worship any most I how much in my spirit and truth. Let that be your daily bread. Let that be your meat. Let that be your satisfaction. Let that be your edification. You know? The apostles of Great Millstone. Hey, how about I wish I bless him and his family and all the apostles and the Akims and the others worldwide. Apostle to her. You just said, hey, do a daily edification. At first, he might have pulled back and said, what? That's going to be hard. But then you, you, get, you get happy in your soul. Because why? You have an opportunity now to push harder for the most I have a shame shy. And that should be a joy right there. So you could fight harder, push forward. It's a tawada. Yeah, but she may show you tawada possible to her. So, hey, this was my daily edification. Discipline the body through fasting. You know, with that, I want to give all praise this to Yaha, Basha Meshai, Basha Makankonash. That one has been to your apostles and the other great millstone. To all the archangels worldwide, hey, Shalom, I'm to you. Stay strong. Shalom.